What's up? It's Monica and welcome to my living room. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, I am a fashion and lifestyle blogger based out of Atlanta. And today's video is giving you a tour of my new living room. So, come on in. Okay, so we got our home mid-February and um, knew this was the house we were getting probably about two or three months prior. So, I had already started planning decor and I was able to finish almost, well, I was able to finish all the rooms that I had planned to decorate before COVID-19 started. So we've been at home, but we've been comfortable, so I thank God for that. Anywho, um, like most of the other rooms in the house, so my kitchen, which I gave you guys a tour of, as well as my master suite, um, the living room was also meant to be very modern, very chic, but also have a, a, a family vibe. Or be, also, I also wanted it to be very comfortable. Um, the house itself is, I would say, somewhat traditional. However, I decided to fill the space with a lot of modern contemporary pieces, and you'll see that throughout the design. Okay, so the first piece we're gonna highlight in this tour is this beautiful end table. I got this table, I wanna say from West Down, but maybe about two years ago. It's a classic piece because it's still in their inventory. I love the brass detail. Um, it's just very clean, it's sleek, I love the lines. I decided to put this beautiful silver um, piece on it and it's just a good uh, mix of the silver and the nickel that's already in the house. I love matching metals, um, I think it just works. And I do a good job with that. Well, I like to say I did a good job with that, with this particular feature. And it also helps tie in the, uh, the metal in the kitchen because there's a lot of like silver in the kitchen. So I felt like this did a great job of bringing the silver in the kitchen into the living room. Um, I also have some coffee table books, this fun little glass vase, um, which houses our remote controls, as well as this beautiful mask that I got in Mexico, I would say about 12 years ago. The mask has traveled literally from home to home, and it has its fun little place here. Okay, so over to this little corner here, we have this beautiful chair, which I consider to be a piece of art. I love the clean lines, I love the silhouette. I think it's actually very sexy. And I decided to pair the chair with this gorgeous side table. I love the marble top and the brass detail. I think it's just very clean. It's also a very sexy piece. So this is kind of like my little sexy little seating area in the living area because it's now paired with this gorgeous standing lamp, which is also beautiful. You'll see that, that line detail that uh, kind of flows throughout the whole living room. But the lamp is beautiful. It's got a beautiful marble base. I love this piece. It also adds height to the room, so it's just a beautiful piece to complete my little seating area. <laughs> so the fireplace, um, I love the fireplace. I love the mantle. Um, it's flagged by two built-ins, which house some of our games and whatnot. I also wanted to make sure that um, both sides were very clean, didn't take away from the overall vibe, but also made a statement. So on this side, I house um, a few black and white photographs, including a photograph of my mother on her wedding day, like almost 50 years ago. <laughs> Anywho, um, there's also some other frames here, which I just have regular pictures in and eventually I will fill them with family photos, but decided to keep the black and white. I feel like black and white is very classic and it works in any, you know, home style, being modern, traditional, farmhouse, whatnot. Black and white is always the winner. Um, I also included this beautiful woven tray. It was gifted to me um, by a brand a couple years ago and it's from Zimbabwe and I just thought it was a beautiful piece. It um, put some ground into the space, which I love. Um, and then I paired it with this beautiful vase, um, also from West Elm, and just some dry plants. And it's just a beautiful little, very calming space that I love. <laughs> and on the other side of the fireplace, we have um, this beautiful photograph that I actually took. So this is one of my pieces. If you guys don't know, I am an artist. Um, I don't have any of my 
paintings up in the house just because they're very colorful and I wanted to make sure the color scheme remained neutral in this home. But um, eventually I'll do some more art and then I'll fill them into the space. But for now, we have my photographs. So this was taken in Barbados. This was on our first honeymoon. We've gone to Barbados twice, um, the first honeymoon, and then 10 years later we went back to Barbados and I took this beautiful photo. Um, this cliff is in the Crane, it's the Crane Resort, um, and it's just beautiful. I love the color, I love the way it brings a little green and color into the space, especially because the space is very neutral, so I wanted to incorporate a little bit of green, a little bit of color here and there with little accessories like art. And right beside it, we have this beautiful vase from Jonathan Atler. This was gifted to me a few years back, and I love this piece, it's traveled with me everywhere. It's just a classic. I love these pieces, um, and this one's great. And then beside that, we have this gorgeous vase from CB2, I think it is. Beautiful piece. Uh, I like the black and white. It ties in the black pieces. There's not a lot of black in, in the house or in the space, uh, but this is a good little feature to kind of tie in black and white, especially from the frames. Next to that, we've got this beautiful plant. This is actually the only live plant in the house. And it's been a couple months now and it's still alive, so that's a great thing. But you know, my husband and I try our best to take care of it. I love it. Um, and then beside that, we've got this beautiful oversized basket, which I have throughout the house. I have one in my master, one in the master washroom. Um, it's just a great basket. I love it. It houses a lot of great stuff. I've got this beautiful throw blanket right on top of it. And actually inside the blanket, sorry, inside the basket, um, we have the surround sound, surround sound boom box thingy in there because you know it was just a big black box and I didn't want it to be visible. So I actually put it inside the basket and then put the throw blanket on top of it to kind of mask it. So you can actually use your baskets to kind of hide things that you don't want the eyes to see. So I did that with that little space, with that little piece. <laughs> okay, and here we have these beautiful pink cushion seat thingies. You can actually use them for seating or I guess has um, little end tables. But because this, the space is, is not terribly big, it's a great size, but it's not terribly big. And the sofa that I got is also not terribly big. So I wanted to incorporate more seating without the space being overwhelmed. And these pieces do a great job. They're beautiful, they're clean, they're in that blush hue that you'll see you know, here and there throughout the house. They're in a nice velvet finish and they're just clean modern and add, you know, more seating to the space and they look good. Okay, so now we have my coffee table. Like I said, I love marble, what can I say? But this marble piece is just absolutely stunning. Um, I love it, it's low to the ground, so you know, you can easily just kind of like put your drink on it or whatnot. But it's just beautiful. I love this piece of marble. And then on top of the coffee table, we have some coffee table books. I love this book. It's got the pink detail, like I said. I wanted to incorporate color here and there with small details. So you've got green, you've got blush, and you kind of have that with this coffee table book. And then we have this influencer book, which I, um, Nigel Barker was in Atlanta um, a while ago, and I got this from him, and you know, I figured why not you know, put it in the living room, it's fun. Um, and then also um, this mu Vogue and Music fashion. We love music in my house, and of course, I'm a fashion blogger. Um, so we had to have that too. So just trying to keep the coffee table simple, but just have a few pieces, you know, and great conversation pieces. You know, like I said, we love, um, we love architecture in my home, and we love home decor. My husband has his own little den, and he, you know, he did an amazing job with that space as well. And you'll see that we really love home design and home decor. So you'll see little home decor design books throughout the house. So yeah, that's my little piece here. Oh, and I almost forgot this beautiful little black art piece. I think I yes, I got it from CB2, and I just love it. I think it's just interesting, um, and it just adds, you know, a little modern touch to the space. Okay, so now my sofa. I love the sofa, it's beautiful, it's in velvet. I love velvet. Um, it works especially with kids, you know, we still eat on this couch, the, on the sofa. So having velvet, it's easy to clean, the kids just brush it off and I'm okay with that. So, and it's comfortable, it's a great piece. I love the lines, it's not too big but it fits perfect in the space. 
Um, it came with its own pillows. They were round and I didn't like them, so I took them off and I got these beautiful blush pillows from West Elm. I added one in that grayish blue color just to kind of, you know, throw off the pink a little bit and just kind of add a little bit of interest to the space. I also went with this darker color, you know, just to mask stains or whatnot. So it's a beautiful chair. It looks great in the space. Um, I've emphasized this so many times throughout in some of my other videos. Gray is a great complimentary color. So wherever you put it, it will complement the other colors in the space. And this sofa does a great job doing that. So I was, um, I was sitting down, I think I was having a drink and just kind of, you know, lounging on this side of the couch, of the sofa, and I realized that there's nowhere for me to put my drinks. Like, it's just so uncomfortable to kind of like have to reach over. Hence, I decided to get this beautiful um, drink table. So it's like a drink side table, and it's pretty cool because it's got that beautiful black marble base and the brass top, and I can just put my drink on it, and it just works. And it's a, not only is it visually beautiful, but it's functional, and I like that. So I wanted to make sure that everything in the space was functional and it looked good. So last piece is this beautiful rug. It's actually a leather rug. It was hand done. I got it from West Elm. I love it. I love the back, black and white contrast. Um, it's a great piece. You'll see flaws here and there because it's hand done, but I feel like it adds interest. Um, it's a great piece. It feels good under the feet. I love the way it looks in the space. It just really brings everything in together perfectly. And it just does a great job of finishing the space. All right, guys, so that was my living room tour. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Which piece in the space was your favorite? Let me know with your comments below. If you're not following me on YouTube, make sure you follow me and hit that notification button so you never miss a post. Subscribe to oddbymonica.com. Follow me on Instagram. And until next time, bye.